Clearly a pressure of their weekly deadline, the staff of Charlie Ebdo, but without eight of the colleagues who worked alongside them last week. Their task tinged with grief and fueled by defiance. It's a little difficult to write about anything else other than the attack because it affects us greatly. It broke us all, personally and professionally. So we are writing about what happened, about the Je suis Charlie campaign, about what comes next. On the front page will be a cartoon of the Prophet Muhammad crying below the words, all is forgiven. In his hands, a sign with the slogan, Je suis Charlie. They will print three million copies this week instead of the usual 60,000, available in 16 languages and 25 countries. The suspected attackers, the Kawachi brothers, were later killed by police after an eight-hour siege at an industrial estate. One of the staff there says he hid in a cupboard the suspects just centimetres away. He was drinking just above me. I could hear water flowing just over my head because my head was next to the sink. I can see his shadow through the opening, between the doors. A surreal moment, completely surreal. And I said to myself, it's like in a film. The bodies of the four French Jews killed in the kosher supermarket attack have been moved from France to Israel. Their funerals will be held in Jerusalem later. Meanwhile, police are still searching for up to six accomplices behind the attacks. This footage seems to show Hayat Bimudien in the white headscarf passing through an airport in Turkey. She is wanted in connection with the supermarket attack and is now thought to be in Syria. French MPs will vote later on whether to continue air attacks on so-called Islamic State in Iraq and Syria. For now, France remains on the highest terror alert with 15,000 troops and police on the streets. Many are guarding Jewish schools, synagogues and mosques amid fears of further attacks or retaliation. Ben Bland, BBC News.